The reason that Canelo gave for being so hostile and aggressive towards Triple G is the fact that Triple G in the past has accused Canelo of being a dirty fighter. And it's a perfectly reasonable accusation because Canelo did get popped. That's why their second fight didn't happen when it was originally supposed to happen. <laughs> because Canelo was cool, apparently, uh, down to some beef, right? <laughs> Billy Joe Saunders' dad liked to call it juicy beef. And Golovkin ended up fighting somebody else instead. I forget who it was. Was it Steve Rolls? I forget who it was now. But in any event, Golovkin is at it again here. He's saying that Canelo has achieved a lot, but there are questions on how he did it and what he used. So Golovkin is trying to lean in and really get Canelo upset and hope to draw him out, hope to get him to fight angry in the belief that that will play into his hands. That will be to his advantage. So he said here, I'm not the kind of person who's going to belittle any athlete's achievements and Canelo's achieved a lot. But there are some questions about how he did that and what he used. I did not say something just because I just came up with it. There are lab results. The doctor said that there were the results of water testing. And when asked, I said, yes, I believe he cheated. And if somebody in his team didn't like my words, I believe it's their problem. Well, I can't fault Triple G <laughs> for, for what he's saying. Now, the reason he's saying it, I believe, isn't just because it's true. It's because he wants to try and get under Canelo's skin, as I already said. And perhaps that'll work. At 40 or 41, whatever he is now, he probably needs these kind of things more so than when he was younger. Perhaps he feels he needs these kind of things more so than when he was younger in terms of trying to get under the opponent's skin. He ain't as sprightly. He ain't as energetic as he was when he was younger. So you're going to need to play some veteran tricks, not just in the ring potentially, but also outside the ring in the run up to the fight to give yourself every advantage to try and counterbalance the fact that you are much older than your opponent. Canelo is what, in his early 30s? Triple G's in his early 40s. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And also, the broader question of Canelo's legacy in his career. Is this someone whose achievements need to be shrouded in doubt at this stage, like Gennady Golovkin is saying here? Do we have to look at Canelo's achievements and say, hmm, well, this may not have been a clean fighter? But the, I guess, kind of counter argument to that would be maybe most of these top fighters are in a similar position to Canelo, where they're not so squeaky clean in terms of what they may have been using. And there's no way of proving that because most of the top fighters don't get popped for anything. But wherever there's money, you tend to find corruption. You tend to find people looking the other way when they should actually be having their eyes on the job, you know, but it is what it is. Human beings are corruptible. And I guess what I'm saying here is I have no doubt that there are certain fighters active today and there have been certain fighters active in the past, cash cow fighters particularly, who got away with taking substances, performance enhancing substances, their whole careers never got caught. I don't see why that would be a far-fetched thing to believe, particularly when you consider the fact that Tommy Morrison admitted after his career was over that he used steroids for the entirety of his first career. Okay, so Tommy Morrison, for those of you who don't know, he was forced to retire after the Lennox Lewis defeat because he tested positive for HIV. After that, he was away from boxing for a while. Then he came back and had some fights as an old washed up man and it was during that part of his second career, quote unquote, where he admitted to being on steroids during his younger days. The whole of his first career, he said he was on steroids, but he was never caught. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because he had the right connections. It's as simple as that. He was a cash cow. I don't think that things are going to be that much different today. 
I mean, back in the 90s, testing protocol, particularly for steroids, wasn't as stringent. I will say that. In fact, I think in Nevada, they didn't test for steroids at all until like 2000 or 2001. But Tommy Morrison fought in lots of different states. And as I say, I think that where there's money, there's corruption. And if you've got a cash cow fighter, you know, I mean, I always go back to the run up to the Klitschko Povetkin fight. And if you have a look at the articles from that time, you'll discover that Klitschko refused to use Povetkin's drug testing agency, which I think w- would have been Rosada, the Russian anti doping. Klitschko refused to use that. And Povetkin refused to use the German anti doping agency that Klitschko was using. <laughs> so there was like a big row about which testing agency would be used. Now, why on earth, if there's no corruption among these testing agencies, why would Klitschko not want to use the Russian drug testing agency? And why would Povetkin not want to use the German one? Think about it. The only reason that the one guy would be suspicious of the other is if there's the possibility of corruption. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? That's as, as simple as that. Also, I remember, in fact, let me not get into more, more Klitschko stuff, but there was some stuff in the run-up to the Pulev fight where Pulev was claiming that Klitschko wasn't going to be tested until after the fight, but Pulev was tested multiple times in the run-up to the fight. And he was very upset about that. Anyway, that's my take on, a brief take on the whole drug testing situation in boxing. Let me know what you think about what Golovkin had to say about Canelo and his legacy, has he, is he just speaking frankly, or is this more of a tactical thing where he's trying to get under Canelo's skin? Let me know in the comments section below.